Hi and welcome everybody. Today we're going to be talking about smart board basics. This video is for anyone who recently received a smart board and needs some basic training on how to use it and how to set it up. Or it's for anybody that just wants to refresh their memory in terms of the smart board basics. Uh, we'll be covering some basic things such as use, the ready light, uh, smart tools and then troubleshooting and orienting your board. The software that we're using here that you can see this is the smart notebook software so uh, this might look a bit, a little bit familiar to you this is the smart notebook 14 software and so the, in future videos you'll see a little bit more about how to use the tools that are up here at the top in the toolbar as well as the tabs on the side uh, including the, the page sorter and things uh, such as the gallery now with a smart board what you have to realize is what you're using is a board that is a touch board it's an extension of your computer um, often what I'll relate to teachers is that it is a, a an interface device much like your mouse or your keyboard so in terms of using it it is something that needs to be connected to your computer by usually by a USB cable or Bluetooth or some other wireless connection and then the image that's on the board is an image that's projected by a VGA or an LCD projector and it, and that image is just a mirror image of what shows up on your monitor. It allows you to use your smart board as the interface for your computer so anything that you can do with your mouse or your keyboard you can do with your smart board pretty much allowing you to control any program or any browser or any of those features on your computer from the board and it's very convenient allowing you to be away from your desk especially if your desk is at the back of the room and you need to be at the front of the room teaching uh, it's a nice way to control and inter interact with your computer people typically will use a smart board for lecturing or instruction purposes but the main focus of a smart board in the classroom is to allow student interaction and allow students to interact with the content that you're teaching it is touch screen technology when you see a smart board basically what you get is a board much like one of these that you see here this is the smart board 600 series or possibly this one uh, this is also a 600 series with its own projector mounted at the top of the board now these boards are touch screen technology meaning that there are two pieces of plastic on the board with a gap in between them and what happens is when you touch the board those two pieces of plastic come into contact with one another uh, that then communicates with the computer telling the computer where to put the mouse on the screen so for that reason one of the things we'll talk about later in this video is how to orient your board so that you know that the place that you touch is the place that it puts your cursor like I said uh, the boards that are on the previous slide those are the smart 600 series boards they typically come with four pins uh, black red green and blue but later in other videos you'll find out that even though those pins will write in those colors you can change the color that they write in um, making them a different color pen different thickness of pen or possibly even a highlighter and then in the center of the pen tray you'll have an eraser tool and a keyboard tool and a right click tool as well as a help button the 800 series board works a little bit differently from what we just talked about instead of touch technology where you touch the board and the two pieces of plastic come into contact the 800 series actually has cameras in each of the four corners of the board and it tracks movements on the board and it uses those cameras to basically uh, triangulate or figure out exactly where you're touching and there are only two pins associated with that board and you use the buttons to choose the color of the pen and the reason there are two pens is because this is a a multi-user board so more than one person can be using the board at a time now in terms of using the board one thing that's important to know is that it's functioning properly the way that you'll know it's functioning properly is that there will be a little yellow or green light at the bottom right of the board right down here um, in this diagram it's shown right here and typically I said yellow or green but typically if your board is functioning properly it will be green 
So if, it, if you see a solid green light on the bottom right corner of your board, then you'll know that your board is working properly. If it is not lit, then that usually means that the board is not turned on. Um, and the question is, how do you turn on the board? If the board is connected to the computer and the computer is turned on, then the board is turned on. Um, if the light is not lit at all, it's usually because the computer is not turned on or the cable has become disconnected from the computer. If that light is flashing green, as you can see here, uh, that means that it's, it's successfully communicating, but uh, it may be just the computer is just starting up. And so what you might need to do is just wait until it stops flashing and turns solid green. If it is solid red, that means the board is connected, has power, but it's not communicating with the board or the computer. It's not communicating with the computer. And there is a way to reset the board, and that is to turn on the smart tools. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a second. If it is flashing yellow or amber, then this is something that usually happens during an update, and you won't typically see a yellow light. Uh, but if you do, you can unplug the USB cable from your computer and then plug it back in. The other option is to look on the back of the board next to the green light, and there is a small card back there with a little black button, and you can take a pen and push that button, and it resets the board and allows it to establish communications with the computer again. So... To ensure that it's working properly, just look for that green light. Now, like I said, if you have a red light, that means that it's connected, it has power, but it's not communicating with the computer. So what you need to do is make sure that your smart tools are running. And that is usually shown in the system tray at the bottom of your computer. If you look down here, specifically on my computer, it would be down here. If I look in the hidden icons section, I can see that my smart board tools are running and the way I know that is because there is a blue square with a white circle in it. That's the smart icon. And if, if, it, if it is loaded correctly and it's running, that icon will be present. If it is not there, then what you will need to do is go to the start menu at the bottom left of your computer and go to all programs and smart technologies and then find the smart system menu item in the smart technologies folder click on that item and it will load the tools and they will appear in the system menu at the bottom right of your screen so again just go to the start menu click on all programs smart technologies and then choose smart system menu when you do that then the smart system or smart tools icon will show up in the hidden icons section at the bottom right of your computer screen. So that's just a quick and easy way to gain access um, and reestablish communications with your board. Once you do that, then the light on the bottom right of your board should turn solid green. Now, like I said earlier, since this is touch technology, you do need to be able to orient your board. And orienting your board means that you're going to establish points on the board so that it can map out the projected surface of the screen and the computer will be able to know where to place the cursor on the screen based on where you touch the screen. So it's important that you make sure that when you first set up the board that it's oriented. However, if you start to notice that the mouse on the board does not go where you touch the board, then it may be time to reorient your board. There's two ways you can do this. One is to press the right click and keyboard buttons on your pen tray at the same time. Or you can go down to the hidden tools and go to the smart board tools and choose orient on the board. When you press orient, then what you'll notice is the board changes to a gray color with different points on the board and you'll just use the pen to touch those points in sequence as they appear on the board and that maps out the surface of the projected board and then when it's done your board should be oriented if you accidentally get into the orientation screen you can always press 
the backspace key on your keyboard or the escape key on your keyboard or you can press one of the buttons on the pin tray to get out of that orientation mode. Well hopefully this gives you a little bit of an understanding of some of the basics as far as how the board operates and how to set it up so, so that you can use it. In future videos we'll be talking about how to set up the pins on your pin tray and use the floating tools. Uh, we'll talk about some of the features of the Smart Notebook software and how to create lessons within Smart Notebook. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.